Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So let's have an update on the Bitcoin price because the sell off still continue here and it looks like also that we are losing here our support of around $11,800 which is not a good sign but that doesn't mean that we are going straight down to 10k so I'm still expecting here a bit of sideways moving here between 11,500 maybe even up to $12,000 before we continue here the push to the upside towards 13 14,000 or if we are having a breakout to the downside a bigger correction towards 10k so of course today everything is bleeding as you can see right here in my list so especially the old coins are bleeding today a lot and that's why guys make always sure that you're ready for all scenarios and also always take a bit of profits out because corrections always happens it never can go always like straight up sometimes we're coming down we have a correction we test supports and then continue the push to the upside especially band and link had a major correction here on link i'm still expecting to reach around 14 dollars if bitcoin is not gonna fall below 11,500 dollars so keep that in mind if you want to buy some more chain link but in case that Bitcoin is coming down towards 10k, which I think is very likely to happen in the next couple of days, if we are not able to push through 13,000, then watch out for lower prices on Chainlink, maybe even down to 5 dollars. So DCA your entry if you're buying some Chainlink or any kind of altcoins. So let's start here with the one hour time frame on Bitcoin because currently we dropped below all the moving averages and currently also the 200 moving average is acting as a resistance. I still expect that the price will most likely come up here again towards the $12,000 level and retest it. We have currently very oversold condition in the one hour and also if you have a look into the Bollinger Band you can see that currently we are falling off here towards the bottom area. We have the stochastic also in oversold condition and MACD shifted to the downside but quite flat so also here I'm expecting a possible bounce to the upside to retest here the middle area which is at around $12,000 and currently I have no short open so I'm still waiting here for the three and four hours to cool off a bit and maybe there open up a long position only if we would really drop below $11,500 then I would consider to open up shorts but currently I'm still looking more for longs than shorts because don't forget we are still in an uptrend and the trend is your friend so as long as we are not losing significant supports we are still shifted to the upside and we should expect a big bounce from it to the upside potentially to retest also here this $12,500 area but since we are getting rejected here still at this uh, big resistance line that here you can see very clearly in the CME chart and right now we're also dropping below the support and test maybe now the new resistance at around $11,800. This makes me believe that we could see maybe right now the beginning of the major correction towards here the bearish target of around $9,600 also to close here the CME gap that we created in the CME chart. And now let's switch over into the four hour time frame because also here as you can see since we are closing four hour candles below the 20 moving average we had here a little sell off we came here towards the $11,500 support currently we are testing again here this upper area. RSI dropped below the 50 so this is looking quite bearish also after my sell signal here as you can see Bitcoin continues to drop and also if we have a look into the Bollinger Band in the 4 hour you can see that we came right here at the bottom. So from here on I'm expecting another bounce to the upside towards 12k to retest it and there is where we're gonna see if we're able to break through again to the upside or not and of course also today's daily close will be very important to see if we are still on our way to the upside towards 13k and higher or are we going to top out here and have a major correction to the downside before we're gearing up for this move to break 
12, 13, and 14 thousand dollar. We also have the stochastic currently oversold here. MACD is still flat but had a bearish cross. So it is possible that we're going again towards 11,600 to 11,500 dollar before we're gonna see a bounce. But it looks like that the indicators already cooled off here a bit here in the lower time frames, and we should expect here a retest of 12k pretty soon and now let's open up the daily time frame because as you can see here i have drawn a new blue rising wedge here which could also break out here in the spot market so currently the support is here at the 20 daily moving average where also we bounced for now so it's gonna be very important to keep up with the day 20 daily moving average and not to close a daily candle below here this eleven thousand five hundred dollar otherwise the correction towards 10k is initiated and you should look for shorts and also take as much profits as you can in this region up here but as long as we're trading above the 20 daily and also close daily candles above we're still shifted to the upside and we should expect here another lag towards 12 maybe even potentially towards twelve thousand five hundred dollar and also we have to see if we are able to break through here to the upside so if we are able to break the resistance as long as we're trading within this potential bearish pattern the chances are higher that we could break out here to the downside and retest this 10k area and with 10k area i mean to close the cme gap at 9600 and potentially also test this red line here the previous resistance which right now should be acting as a support and it's going to be depending where and when we're going to break out here to the downside where this line will be because right now it can drop even down towards 9650 if we're going to break out later to the downside then the support will be lower towards here the 9400 dollar and also here you see that the rsi currently is coming down and we also have to see if we're bouncing from the 50 level or not so this is why we should keep an eye here in the daily time frame where we're gonna close these daily candles and if we have a look here into the bollinger band you can see that we came right into the middle line here we have the stochastic in neutral condition but macd shifted to the downside so also here we have a lot of room left to the downside but only if we would lose here this eleven thousand five hundred dollar support here so this moving average here of the bollinger band if we're gonna drop here below then prepare to see eleven thousand one hundred dollar pretty soon and now let's go over to the most important time frame here the weekly because here as you can see we are still far away from the 20 weekly moving average which currently is at $9,800 and as I told you my friends Bitcoin likes very much to come down to test this moving average and then bounce again from it even during a bull run and we also have the RSI currently in very overbought condition so also here this screams like for a bigger correction it doesn't have to happen right now today or this week but as soon as we're gonna lose one of these important supports especially here at around $11,500 be sure that you're taking the short over on Bybit, Femex or BTR because here you can do huge gains multiply your Bitcoin and once we're gonna bounce again to the upside this will be worth way way more so make sure that you're gonna take profits always when we are dropping and also when we are pumping even with small amounts over here on Bybit, Femex and BTR you can do a lot of gains thanks to leverage and if you still need an account down below here in the video description you find all the sign up links to those exchanges that I recommend you especially Bybit, Femex and Bityart with my links you can get some bonus and rewards and of course you support the channel to get this full bonus here especially this one here on Bybit $90 and $72 on Femex you have to put some first deposit to get the full bonus otherwise you can just claim a couple of dollars all right, and now let's start here into the weekly time frame, also with the Bollinger Band, because as I told you guys, it is most likely the case that if we're gonna get rejected here right at the top of the Bollinger Band, that we're gonna have a correction down to the two moving averages here, so between 10,350 and also 9,400 before we continue here the push towards 13 thousand dollar and i told you it is more bullish if it happens right now so we can finally close the cme gap have this healthy correction confirm these supports down here at around ten thousand dollar and then start the parabolic next move 
to break also potentially 20k in the very close future we also have stochastic and macd which are looking very toppy here so as i told you this screams for a correction here and if we're gonna have a major correction then watch out for those levels my buy orders are here between ten thousand to nine thousand four hundred dollar if we drop lower then most likely i'm gonna put some fresh fiat in there because if bitcoin is really gonna drop below 9k again then this will be most likely the really last opportunity to get crazy cheap bitcoin and and also other alts that you want to buy but don't forget never panic sell if you want to sell then sell when everything is pumping and just take a little bit of profits out so you're always flexible to buy if we're gonna have a bigger correction like potentially could happen in the very close future and also if you want to get this buy and sell signals from my own indicator then make sure also to join my free discord trading chat i'm always putting the signals over there on the discord sometimes also when i'm live over on twitch you find those channels down below here in the video description is everything completely for free and everyone is welcome to join and please guys moon up the like subscribe to the channel leave a comment anything you want this helps the channel and of course i very appreciate your support every day so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now thank you very much for watching and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye